Hey guys, so some of you must have known that actor Alex Kubo was engaged last year to Fancy and everybody was just so happy because uh, Alex, people have been saying Alex go and get married, just teasing him and all that stuff. So he now showed us a very beautiful girl and everybody was like, ah, beautiful girl is about to get married to fine boy, fine boy, fine girl, perfect union and everything was looking good, you know the stories that they've dated for like five years or they've been like friends for five years before he proposed to her and asked her to marry him and she said yes guys in fact they started planning the wedding and put a date i think they were supposed to get married last year and few months into the engagement uh, sadly fancy came out and put out a post on instagram saying that they were going they were calling off the engagement and in one of the posts one of the lines read that leave your truth so it just made everybody begin to wonder what is the truth that fancy is saying that they should leave and you guys if you know alex Kubo's story you know that over time people have been speculating um things that maybe alex likes guys you understand and even though there's been no um nothing to prove that or nobody knows about that but it just made people feel like okay if um fancy is saying leave your truth people were now saying oh does it mean that this is why um fancy is leaving alex because she found out that maybe alex likes guys too you understand so people were like oh alex you have broken fancy's heart and everything and fancy just kept on living her life and you know she moved on she kept on going on vacations and everything and alex you could tell that alex was hit but over time he had to pick himself up and continue moving on but one year later we see on instagram another post that fancy actually put up and in this post she was apologizing to alex ekubo and to his family and to her family too um following all the issues that went up with their breakup and everything and she put out a post she said in that post that she was trying to clear the air based on the fact that her saying everybody should leave their truth had anything to do with Alex liking men and that she never said Alex likes men. So like helping Alex debunk the fact that the rumors that have been going around so that that was never her reason for breaking up and she's not saying that he likes men. You guys, you get it. So she said that stuff happened and he hurt her and she doesn't want to talk about what happened but that she's apologized to him for what she said for putting out that post and he too has apologized to her so basically they have um they are cordial so they are moving on now and she has apologized to his mother to basically they're just moving on people are now like saying oh why did you not come out to tell us her story and i'm like when i like story Sha, when i like this person life and i like this but what i'm saying is that this whole thing just goes to show that sometimes online in-laws they really they on their own people they carry just can't give online in-laws because you remember that they dated for five years so i feel like even if they broke up if it's not something very very um hurtful that cannot be forgiven they can be cordial and move on and don't have to be married again they don't have to go back together but what i'm saying is that five years a lot of time they know each other so they might not be enemies you guys get what i'm saying but another thing again that struck me was the comment section people are like oh so now you have um come back together now are you back together oh yeah now go and marry him five is a lot of time you see you are not married now he's still not married you guys make up i say we're not like marriage ah, ah, nigerians we like marriage people can do anything to stay married somebody has come out and said somebody hurt her and they've broken up engagement called off but now they have made up they are at peace but she never insinuated um anything about the fact that they were going to get back together or get married and people are like okay she didn't allow make up a be oh, yeah, everybody go and get married she didn't say they are getting married i'm actually happy that they've made up but people were saying that her putting bringing out this post again to come and write like three pages talk about the fact that she has apologized to him and that she didn't mean him knowing his truth as that he likes men or anything just to clear the air you know because i think that she needed to clear the air because people thought that that was the reason why she said that or she put that um made that statement people are saying that she didn't have to make that statement she didn't have to come out to tell us where they are right now that we don't need this information but for me i feel like since she publicly came out when it happened you know to put out a very long statement now that they've made up out not like make up to be married though they they have settled their differences and they've moved on with their lives separately now they've made up i think she also needs to come out the same way like you publicly 
came out to announce the breakup and made the statement that insinuated things i think that she did great by coming back to explain that line because that line has been making people ask questions for like a year now so i think she did him good it was kind of her if you ask me i don't know what happened that made them break up but i think it was kind and humane of her to come out and make that statement even though people in the comment section were like "Mm -mm, nobody send you auntie nobody send you auntie for this kind of post that you came back to put you couldn't have put any post in the first place i said that's the thing about being celebrities when you're in the public eye you feel like you owe online in-laws explanations when most of the times you don't and you guys see what happened with alex relationship he hid it from the public eyes for like five years and the moment he exposed it it was done you know i don't think it was exposing the relationship that made it end but <laughs> you guys see if you hide it you can scatter if you don't hide it you can scatter there's really no rules or formula to this thing but if you ask me i think that online in-laws like celebrity marriages the way celebrity marriages love online in-laws i think the two of them cannot do without each other even if online in-laws are running away from gist celebrities will still bring gist to online in-laws so it's just a whole lot i'm just really happy that they are cordial now and that they've made peace with each other that's how life is this life not supposed hard they will carry poop for chest it's too heavy life is hard don't stress yourself again too much yeah so i'm here for peace so cheers to peace and to people making up and moving forward guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section is the restaurant i thank you so much for watching if you liked this video like it like it like it please subscribe i'm gonna see you in my next one bye